Most people in America are familiar with how to make a life worth living and a retirement worth having. You do that by the strategic partnership you choose for your life partner. And your life partner is typically one that is sent by the Lord based on the prayers that you make to God about what you're looking for, what you hope to have, and what it is you want. When people fail to recognize God in their lives, they start to lose life. And they lose life because people around them and around the people that they love interfere. They interfere so badly that they think they're in power over other people. And they ruin the relationships that the Lord God places. The liars of America steal time. They snatch bodies. They abuse people. They sexually assault them. They interfere with life. They hold them in a tower. And they psychologically misuse them. And then they sit there and think the, the whole time, I'm holy. I'm teaching a moral lesson. I'm interfering with your life so you can't be yourself. And Jesus Christ looks down on them and says, Who the fuck do you think you are? Now, as a pagan, I can put those words on any deity. But what I know about Christ and what I know about people is most people are not Christ and they do not carry Christ with them when they behave malefic maleficently and maliciously. The malicious Muslim is a fear factor for America. The ridiculous Korean is a concern of Americans. The contemplative Chinese is not our problem, is not true. It is completely an assault against me and you. But the police officers of America, the police officers of America must be defunded is absolutely true. Their intentional dereliction of duty their threats to you and me, their theft of property makes them the worst people in our military. They choose that on their own accord, they do that without a thought, and openly the men and women of that force level have abated themselves, ruined lives, and destroyed property values and possessions that do not belong to them. The liars in American church houses destroy lives. They steal time. They sexualize people. They abuse records. They reveal rights. And they do this all in front of God in the middle of the night. Because the cowardice in them knows what is and isn't morally grounded not true. The cowardice in them knows within the world what is the law and what is not, that is true. The liars of America like to steal time. They like to fortify their pleasures and they like to live without any thought to anyone else's endeavors. The liars of America put their hands on a person at night and the liars of America taint beverages and ruin them in a way that is not right. The black women of America will do this without hesitation. They will misrepresent their parentage, their heritage, and the history that they have held and fought for in our nation. The cheap Chinese who come across the sea to study in our houses do something similarly. They give up their names of origin. They take on American concept lineage, meaning naming conventions. And I may not rhyme in everything that I do, but what I can tell you over the course of time is that we all lose. You see, when a police officer doesn't do his preventive maintenance job on a child that's doing things immorally and illegally on a college campus, what ends up happening is that the rest of the world suffers in 10 to 15 years. They might get called to a scene, but they'll be way out of line by that point and way out of time in protecting American citizens. Now I can talk about cultural generalizations, I can avoid stereotypes, but here's the reality. Who pesters you in the middle of the night is still who pesters you in the middle of the night. Who steals from someone else's life is still the person who steals from someone else's life, and they will be white, black, Chinese, Korean, 
Indian, Mexican, you name it. They're all here to seek their thrills and harm our wills and openly steal from us the wives that God planned for us. The liars of the force do this without fail. They move our mailbox mail into their jails without a thought to federal law that they had no right to do it at all. And they take our days to the point that we can get ill from the things that we eat because we think yesterday was the day that we were here for a treat. But what you're finding is that when we eat something, we end up losing a week off our life because of the illness of their lives. In America, we have rights, and yet people don't think we do. They think they have the right to drug me and you. They think they have the right to harm me and you. They think they have the right to steal from me and you. And they think they have the right to interact with false relatives of me and you. A false relative is someone who wants to put their controls, their power, and their will into our lives without consent, without permission, and without thinking what heaven has spent in the course of Christ to prevent their illness, to prevent their manipulations, to pre prevent their molestation, and to pretend, prevent their mutilations. The liars of a countryfied world pay attention to nothing more than their thrills. And the liars of America lose their rights just as quickly as we gain them in the night. In America we have rights and yet there are people who feel they have rights to take our rights. There are people who feel they have the right to taint our food at night. There are people in America who think they have the right to put us out without our right to say no. And there are people in jails who spend their whole day sexually inappropriate cursing and swearing and abusing and joking and harassing and horse playing through the days of our life. In America, we're supposed to have opportunities, but there are people in America that want to steal them and rob them from you and me. In America, there are people who can set you up and there, in America, there are people who can tear you down. But the truth is, American citizens have rights, and yet they don't think so, and they try to play with people in the night. They steal chains. They steal necklaces. They steal dog chains and other things from us in the night that we set aside for our situations, our families, and our futures. And they do this all in the name of what? all in the name of who and all in the name of secrecy and illegal privacy in their minds because they do it in the shadows they do it at night they do it with chemistry they do it with audio philology and that might even need to, might not even be a word today but hey i've had a stroke a heart attack and other things because certain people who don't practice medicine thought they'd start practicing medicine in their brains, in their stupid games on me.